Hello again, this is Pearson Brown. Today we're going to look at four expressions using up. Up in the air means undecided. Here's the first example. Who gets the contract is up in the air. We don't know who's got it, it's still being decided. Here's a second example. The winner of the election is up in the air. We don't know, it's very close, it could be one party or it could be a different party. Here's the final example. There was talk about having a meeting, but things were left up in the air. That means, as often happens, there was some vague discussion, but nobody came to a decision. It was left up in the air. Here's a second expression, up a tree. Up a tree means to be in a very difficult situation. Here's the first example. It's one that I know very, very well. We have no money left for the month. We are up a tree. We are in a very difficult situation because we can't pay. Here's the second example. If the insurance company doesn't pay me, I will be up a tree. Again, I've had a car or accident or something. I'm waiting for the insurance company to pay. If it doesn't pay, I can't fix my car. I will be up a tree. Final example, he was caught trying to steal a company laptop and was up a tree. I think that's self-explanatory. He's in a terrible mess because he was trying to steal. Bad man. Here's the third expression with up, up to par, which means to be of the required standard. Often it's used in the negative, not up to par. Here's a first example. I'm afraid your recent work has not been up to par. You see, it's a negative. It's often used in the negative. Here's a very standard expression. I'm not feeling up to par today. I must be getting a cold. Again, you see, it's a negative sense. I am not feeling up to par today. I'm not feeling very good. Here's a question. Are your computer skills up to par for the job? Okay, you need to do certain things for this job using a computer, for example, using Excel and Word and those sort of programs. The question is, do you have the necessary skills to do them? Are your skills up to par? Okay, I said I had four expressions with up, but I was lying. I don't. I'm sorry, I've only got three. So I've made a fourth expression, useful expression for you. Upset the apple cart, which means to mess things up. First example, I don't want him on my team. He will upset the apple cart. He will make a mess of things. He'll annoy people. He'll do things badly. He will upset the apple cart. Here's a second example. He upset the apple cart by telling everyone the confidential information. Okay, there was some sort of secret. People were not supposed to know or perhaps not supposed to know yet. And he chose to tell everybody they got angry. He upset the apple cart. So this expression is quite useful then. There's no need to upset the apple cart yet. Keep this information to yourself. Okay, it's sort of the reverse of the last one, isn't it, really? Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed these examples. I'll be back very soon with another one. Make sure you come back to my site.